Captain, previously on beer and board games. The Star Trek The Next Generation Interactive VCR board game. <laughs> the computer has reactivated the turbo lifts. No, he's so much... <laughs> Well, that certainly was a tough time we had in deep space. Maybe we need to return to a more simpler time when space travel wasn't possible and when great big ships sank down to the bottom of the briny deep. I am, of course, talking about Titanic, Titanic. the board game. The board game. If you Horbe can't... Oh, he's not here. Oh, Faux Horbe. Let's have another beer, please, for Horbe. And we have a new beer from the people at Line and Kugels, the Big Eddie brand. We heavy Scotch ale. It well, tastes like a cannonball. It's got a real big blast of sweetness. It's got sort of like a cherry flavor. I would say molasses. Comes out of it. There's that too, like a fruity sweetness, but mm -hmm. it's sort of like drowned in molasses. All aboard! Today we're gonna be sailing towards a giant iceberg. Hopefully we'll win! He tried to get off a ship that's sinking and all the poor people are drowning. What is the object of the game? Collect your belongings and put your paperwork together and get <laughs> on an escape ship. Those are the last things you're supposed to do in a dangerous situation. You leave your belongings behind and you don't worry about paperwork. When you're a rich person on the Titanic, you, you assemble your items, you get your documents together, and then you <laughs> file on to a ship. Three persons per... Uh, the boats that you get on the safety boats. Lifeboats. Life yeah, the lifeboats. Three people to a lifeboat, please. I'm Baxter Buckworthy. I'm Violet Harding. It's been nice being next to you this time. <sighs> <laughs> the ship's sinking, Matt. Come on, muster some kind of like I guess fear. So I landed on a yellow Chinese lady's face. <laughs> Just like on the real Titanic. Yellow gossip card. So I'm reading this word for word. I am not inserting any word for word. There Read have it. been some thefts on board. I know who behind them, and I go tell Purser. With like a little Chinese face on it. Are you shitting me? No, I know who behind them. <laughs> it's, it's cherry pie. Cherry pie is uh, on the Titanic. Ah, oh, this ship is sinking. I know who behind it. Yeah, I feel all... like this game is racist. It's a moonless night, and I hear the radio man. He say there is icebergs in the water. I think you might be happy to know this. <laughs> Come on, is it written like that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> when was this game made? In like 2000. Oh my God, it really is written He's like, like a that. Latin playboy. <laughs> Holy frijoles, I hear <laughs> you bandito. I'm going you to the purser's office. I'm gonna buy a room key for $80. In 1897, I was in England. No, you weren't. In 1897, the Democrats were split. <laughs> White Star is providing me with my own personal bellhop. Oh, you get a bellhop token. Who and won't be able to get on the lifeboat with you, but your luggage will at least. Bellhop, put my luggage on the boat and then go jump off the ship and die. Lewis Bell would like us to insult his friend Brian Wasnitsa. Listen, Mr. Wasnitsa, I hear you cheat people in your business. I hear you have portrait painted by Samuel Ward Stanton. <laughs> Brian, you've, you're a, you're a shit. <laughs> you're a... Double shit. I just want to get off this ship, you guys. I'm pretty sure it's sinking. I Go to infirmary. Oh, what? Health check's $50. I'll buy my health check. You cunt. I have Don't call me a cunt for being healthy. <laughs> 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 the worst thing uh, I can think of, really, would be an unhealthy cunt. <laughs> you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I find you attractive. It's wonderful that I'm able to sit next to you. <laughs> I bet you've got yourself a healthy cunt. <laughs> Don't you? Share it with me and I shall bring I, you I with think you. I need a shower. <laughs> the first class. You get a gossip card from Yellow. No, it's, it's a telegram. It's a telegram. telegram. Well, but the rules oh, wait, say no, when you no, land, look, on, the when you land on the same space as someone else, face and someone else, then you... Can I please have a one of uh, you? give me a gossip card. You give me a gossip card. Oh. You give me a MasterCard. You bandito! You cheated cards! I informed the shipper, and they will be coming after you pronto. Jesus Christ. Is there a way to make the ship sink faster? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother fuck. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> 
I just want to put it out there for everyone I mean, in the yeah. audience. This shit is disgusting. It's really bad. The first one was okay, but I don't want to. The first anymore. like three sips of the first one were okay, and now I'm gonna probably puke on camera. You're being bribed. Pay lucky fifty dollars. Stop by a sweet 106 for a good time. I'll hey. be waiting. I'm Baxter Buxum worthy. <laughs> You're Baxter Buxum Buckside. I like it. <laughs> Susan Kalman wants us to do a little toast here for her boyfriend, John Haddock. It's a birthday present. He turned 30 on the 3rd of July. He's a big fan of the show. So this All one, right, John. John here's to you. Haddock. I remember when I turned 30, I, I felt a certain way, and I think that you probably feel the same way. <laughs> I think this is historically accurate. We would have known about it had the Titanic made it. And there's literally like stacks of expendable bellboys that we are <laughs> to take on to carry our luggage to our lifeboat and then throw into the sea. Thank you for helping me find my room. You are a very kind person. Did Receive fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Cause she can't find her fucking room. Fifty dollars. Well, I provided some services. It doesn't, you know. In in nineteen twelve. I find my room is like to find my G-spot, and that's worth 50 bucks. Her G-spot is as big as a room. Oh! Dude! Damn. It's like a heavy bag, and you gotta... <laughs> 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 you can't kill my spirit. I have own personal steward. You get bellhop to help you with inconveniences, too. Only $100. Give me a bellhop that I can murder. Uh, you're gonna murder him. So, the so bellhops bell are gonna drown. The bellhops. <laughs> you got a lifeboat. The bellhops. The bubbles are coming. Come up. The bellhops are gonna drown. I land on you. Come on. That's what a little man said. I saw a man <laughs> sneak into your room earlier today. I thought it only proper to turn him into the authorities. Banker pays Violet a hundred dollar reward. You go, thing. girl. There well, you go. I like. I like your dress, girl. I like the way you walk. I like the way that booty bounces when you walk, girl. Yeah, that booty. Yeah. That Hell booty's yeah. driving me crack. <laughs> yeah, your booty's talking to me like... Stand yeah, up and make the booty yeah. go clap. Oh, why, thank you. I'm I've been keeping a straight-up eye on your room, oh, my. Damn. Oh, yeah, wow. oh yeah. my. Hey, your hey. booty going crazy under that bustle. I'm going to have to report you to the authorities. Oh, damn, damn. baby, why you gotta do me that way? How you gonna do this Meet shit? Meet me in Sweet 104 later. Your booty's a damn something. <laughs> damn. What does that mean? Something. That's gonna be my new catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Lindbergh, the sweet man that he is, he wants to toast Nicole Lindbergh because of their marriage on June 7th. Congratulations to the Lindbergh. All right. Yes. Hey. To, to many years of marital bliss. Keep your video keep keep your video safe. Keep your video safe. Keep uh, keep your baby out of the hands of kidnappers. Just an idea. And keep your video safe. Okay, here's what I propose, you fuck knobs. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's me. Well, this game is dragging on, so we're going into sudden death. We're on the poop deck. We're going to see who can get to the lifeboat. First first person to get through the lifeboat wins. And the rest of us drown with all the bellhops. So Andrew, roll the six. You roll the thing. Let's do it. Forget your family on the bridge. Go back. No, ignore the writing. No, ignore the writing. But no, it says I forgot my this family is, this on is the just, bridge. It's just a die roll. Forget my family on the bridge. Why is your family on the bridge? So right. three, uh, we're gonna double that. We're no. gonna call it six. No, 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 you're not gonna double it. Do it right. Fuck you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yellow gossip. Yeah, don't worry about that This ship, ship is so large, I feel very disoriented. Can you help me find the room? <laughs> David's gonna win. My family, I have to go back. <laughs> Alright, fine, go back for your fucking family. I want go, to back. go back for my family. Then go back for them. Right there. They're, my family's here. <laughs> <laughs> my family. I win! David I win. wins! I win! I'm gonna Boom, win. And I, as soon as I got it, I cut the ropes and I started rowing. I was like, Fuck these guys. You and threw my guy me. off the ship. Because you were fucking around. You're like, I'm gonna go back with my family. <laughs> Let's just take a second, guys, everybody, look what and happened. have a sip of beer. Look what happened, with you guys. Each other. There's like a. <laughs> <laughs> All the bellhops. They made it! They escaped! They did it! All the bellhops. The bellhops are in the boat. Let's escaped. sing a, a drinking song, because that's what you do on a boat. Yeah, about the bellhops. Oh, the, the bellhops got bell down. They found that they had a terrible fright. They let down the ropes and run to the shore. And now the bellhops will drown no more. Folks, 
We had a good time tonight. We blasted off into the but fucking void <laughs> of space <laughs> with Star Trek The Next Generation. We, we played the Star fucking... Wars game all night long <laughs> and then Klingon <laughs> yelled at us. And then we took a trip back to the 1912s <laughs> on the Titanic. We got all of our documents in order like you should on a sinking <laughs> ship, but we all sank anyway and the bellhops made it. <laughs> we hope that you feel good about your life and that you're not sinking in an icy void of space or of sea. And we'll see you next time. <coughs> good night. Oh, the bellhops I like it. <laughs> they went to the